Hi, Virgo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you guys here with me. I'm glad you clicked on the video. I hope you sit and stay a while. Happy full moon to you guys. This is going to be your daily message for May 26th. Um, I am a happy camper right now for the most part, minus this headache, <laughs> but I'm here nonetheless, but I'm, I'm happy because I was able to see the full moon. I saw it, you guys, it was beautiful. That just makes my day, seriously. No matter what my mood is, being able to see the full moon is everything, and I was told that we wouldn't be able to see it, um, at least in my area. So uh, I'm very happy for that. Let's see what your guides need you to know for today. For Virgo, please, Virgo. What do you have for Virgo? What message do you have for Virgo? That was the King of Swords trying to come out. Um, masculine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Perhaps that's relevant to some of you. King of Swords also speaks about having discernment. Um, it could also represent um, uh, someone like in the medical field or a lawyer, doctor, something of that sort. Okay. You have the Ace of Cups here. Spare, what else do you need, Virgo? No, thank you. Can we get one more? Oh. All right. There you are sitting in your overall energy as the King of Pentacles. Um, three major arcana and a Ten of Swords. <laughs> Gracious, gracious me. You are showing up in the Hermit card as well. There's definitely an ending here, okay? Perhaps after you've um, taken some time to heal, uh, after this Ten of Swords, I, I see a replenishment, a rejuvenation, okay? The Ace of Cups represents a... Um, a divine blessing, okay, a renewal in the in the, the emotional space, okay? So it cleanses out that Ten of Swords. You have the Chariot, the Princess, which is the Page of Wands under here, and the Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. All right. <clears throat> Somebody here is, is getting right with themselves, I feel whatever that means to you, because those are the words that they gave me. <laughs> okay, let's do some clarification and look a little deeper. But nonetheless, I see you coming out of hermit mode. You're coming out of hermit mode here. Uh, after an ending of some sort. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups? This, um, for some of you, th 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 there's a lot of um, disappointing, or uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? There's an energy of you being disappointed. Thank you. <laughs> like something didn't work out the way that it was supposed to. Someone here offered you an entire cup of love, um, and the cup was empty, okay? It was empty. So I'm not in that cup. Well, nothing in that cup. But you got to pick up the pieces here, and I see you doing that. Sitting here as the king, okay? The king is about control, about mastery, okay? He, he, he has it all together financially, physically, all right? Um, he, he's a practical thinker, just like you are. All right. For the Ace of Cups, we're getting the Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords is coming out again. The Justice card. Uh, for some of you, this this could have to do with um, a marriage or even marriage proposal for some reason is coming out. Perhaps someone proposed to you and took it back or proposed to you and then um, 
betrayed you before the marriage even happened or after the marriage happened. I don't know. But either way, it was like a, uh, I, I'm feeling like a, like a push and pull back and forth kind of relationship. Okay. Perhaps filled with arguments and just, just difficulties. I feel like you hung in there for a while there, um, Virgo, but, um, the end is near. The end is near. And that's beautiful. I mean, as much as you may not want it to be. And as soon as I say that, we have the seven of wands with the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You may be resisting um, this ending. Uh, but, you know, again, endings bring new beginnings. They bring new beginnings. Okay. And there's a lot of um there's a lot of of hurt okay and pain here on the table and that's not a healthy place to be okay let's look at the death card it's funny we had the king of swords right in the in the in the pre-shuffle and now the justice card is coming out here because they both speak on um, fairness, having discernment, all right? And I feel like you are realizing what it is that you deserve. I feel like you're realizing what it is that you deserve and that you are ending it. Deuces, see you, bye. See you, bye. What's the step card, please, for Virgo? Eight of Swords, the Tower's coming in, hun, because, and here's the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Cups here, okay? All right, listen. It can be really difficult for us to move on from someone that we care about, someone that we love about, but, um, you know, I don't know if I want to say fortunately or unfortunately, but it's not all about love when it comes to a relationship or when it comes to a connection. You can care about somebody from afar. You feel me? You can care about this person from afar. If what if 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 their energy is not right, if if how they're presenting themselves is not right, okay around you or towards you or, or just in your energy that's something that you have to move forward from even if it is difficult even if it's difficult you have the queen of cups here um feminine water energy pisces cancer scorpio all right the tower scorpio's hair heavy but either way even if you guys do love each other and also Think about, Virgo, think about what, what love really means to you. I think that's necessary here for you because it feels like, it feels like, you know, a, a cycle here is trying to end for you, but you're not allowing it to, you're not, you're not allowing it to. That's funny. I, I can't remember if it was you guys or someone else's reading where I said choose life, but here it is coming up again. If it was you guys. But that's how it that's how it's feeling. Like I, this this connection or this this person um here, if it if it has to do with the person, it doesn't have to. But something here in your life is not for you, okay? Something here in your life needs to end, needs to go away, okay? To bring renewal, to bring that transformation in that the death card brings. What's this hermit card, please? Can you clarify the hermit? For the hermit, we're getting the chariot, cancer's energy, we're getting the six of pentacles, and we're getting the judgment card, yeah. 
with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. You have the page of pentacles and the ten of cups and the six of wands. All of these things coming in for you. If you allow yourself to separate from this person, allow yourself to heal from whatever um, pain they caused or whatever pain the situation caused. Okay, this is what is in the cards for you. Okay, this is the potential um, that you have when you when you really accept the truth of the situation and decide to move forward. Okay. This, this is not, um, <laughs> it's funny. This is not the mutual love that it seems to be. And that's why I said earlier, you know, sometimes we can get blinded by, um, the gifts or, um, the sex. Okay. Let's be real. Um, and, and ignore our intuitive nudges, um, that tell us we need to move on from this person that tell us, you know, that this isn't the best situation, but when our self-esteem is low, especially, or if we feel like there's nothing better out there. It makes it even more difficult, but you have to do what's best for you. You know, even if that means that you have to be alone for a little while, there's nothing wrong with that because we cannot bring um, two sets of baggage together and think that it's going to make a whole healthy, stable relationship. That's not the way that it goes, okay? You need to to move forward to something that's more fruitful for you. But again, I, I really feel like you have made this realization. It's just a matter of um, packing your bags, <laughs> okay? Actually making the decision and following through with it, okay? Let's get your overall message. What's the overall message here for Virgo? You have the Four of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Eight of Wands. One more. And you have the Magician card. With the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, which, like I said, I feel like you saw this disappointment coming. You saw this, this, the you you saw the negative traits in this person. Okay, don't don't deny yourself the truth. Don't deny yourself the truth because it doesn't matter how great a person looks on the outside. All right, it's about a lot more things than that. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and um, the Eight of Wands, and the Magician. First of all, the the Ace of Wands here and the Magician card. Okay, they 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 are both the number one. All right, representing the possibility of the new beginning, the possibility of the renewal. Um, that's here for you. OK, once you're able to drop this burden, once you're able to um, heal, you have accelerated motion. All right. These things are coming in quickly for you. They're coming in quickly for you to bring you back to this place of feeling stable, bring you back to this place of feeling grounded. OK, some of you guys might need to do some um, base chakra work or healing here. All right. So, Virgo, I hope that you were able to get something out of this message today. Um, good luck in your decision making. If this was your message, you enjoyed the content, all that good stuff. Please don't forget to like the video, share the love and subscribe to the channel.